All right, guys, this is my 1854 Prodigy, 21 inch sides, um, platinum edition, custom built from Prodigy in Georgia, just got about a month ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, I don't know when I got it, but approximately have five hours on the motor, and we'll get to that all in a second. Um, this, we're gonna start off with the trailer. This is a fully aluminum trailer. It was a, uh, it's a pretty nice trailer, pretty thick too, pretty heavy. So that's what I liked. I didn't like to galvanize on my old gator tail. Uh, I sold that boat and I got this one custom built. Um, we got the 12.4, it's, I don't know what the hell they do. It's a 120404 light box. It's got two sea light pods on each side and one 12 inch light bar in the front with the V nose, with the V rake and everything. I got the Minn Kota Tarova, uh, 12 volt, 55 pound thrust, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see, yep, 55 pound thrust. Pretty nice boat, I'm a trolling motor for my boat, you know, it pushes it well. Shouldn't need anything more. Um, it's got the iPilot and everything on it. Uh, I got my spud pole holes and my bow rails for when I'm outside the boat trying to either get in or uh, just pull it around with me somewhere. Um, I got my shark eyes and my LED pods. Pods for throwing out decoys in the night so it lights up my spread a little bit better. And you know my nav lights because you got to have nav lights on your boat. And they also come with the T-lock rail system also with the rub, rar, rub guard on the side um, also got these accessories these handles for my t-lock um, come back up front we got my front deck hatch all these hatches are lit on the inside um, but this is my front storage hatch just with my camera box and everything I also like this over my gator tail because all of these storage locks all the storage hatches have locks on them so I can lock all my stuff if I'm you know not kept in my garage um, this is my extended deck hatch let's see if I can I'll pop this one for now we'll come back when I get to on, on the other side I'll unlock that one and pop it open um, I got the 45 degree corners 10 inch catwalks all the way around and then the cup holders in each catwalk I mean in each 45 and uh, they're pretty sweet. I like them because they're uh, they have the rubber on the inside to keep uh, from scratching your cup all up and everything. Um, this is my deck fill for my gas. Pretty simple. Um, also, another thing on my gator tail, I had to pull out from under my front deck and pull it out and fill it up, which isn't really a big deal, but you know. It's whatever, this is a lot nicer than uh, my last one. This whole boat's a lot nicer than my gator tail. Um, this hatch is has my gas tank. It has my battery charger over there and my trolling motor battery. And it's also sea decked, which is pretty nice. Um, this is my foot control for my trolling motor and this is just a pair of pliers I got. But I also love all these boxes have the gas hinges or the hydraulic hinges in them so they stay up and everything that's another reason why i love these things um i have dual millennial um millennium sorry millennium marine seats in the green color i got them for probably going to be sitting like this with my duck blind on my boat so you know, that'll be two good spots. Probably gonna have another one out in the back. Um, but I don't have, a, I opted out for the seat post because I didn't want to hit it while I was driving. If I had a seat right there, there's no point. I'm probably gonna put like a bucket right there if, if I have a third guy going hunting with me, but it's usually two people. Right here, this, I don't know if that one's unlocked now. This is my rod box. It actually has my, um, my flag, my trump, and my American flag, and my paddle on here right now. 
Um, I'm looking for a way to mount all my rods in there. I have about eight rods probably now. I'm trying to figure out a way so I can mount them instead of, and they won't be bouncing around in the bottom of it, even though it's C-decked. Um, also, the whole boat is C-decked as well by this camo teak that I really like. Um, this pod right here, it, it's a very similar layout to my old gator tail design, but this this one, instead of it being another storage, we'll have water in here, but it's actually a log well. That's pretty sweet. So if I wanted my uncle, um, just built a new pond. So if I ever catch some bass and I don't want to eat them or skin them or whatever, I'll put them in here, bring them home, throw them in the uh, pond. Um, I actually got the fishtail design on the rear end. So it has this little step right here. It's pretty sweet. I like this. This is probably my favorite setup um, that Prodigy makes. I also love this. This is probably the favorite thing on the boat, to be honest, uh, is the boat buckles. They stay on the trailer when you unhook them from the boat. So they just slide down, they stay on. You ain't gotta take them off and worry about losing them and all that junk. Um, I got blue rooster tail lights on both sides right there. Um, with the motor, I went with the Mud Buddy 5000 EFI, which is a 40 horse with, uh, I think it's different heads to make it 50 horses. Um, got the custom stainless works, not custom, but stainless works exhaust added on for a couple extra more horsepower. Right now it has the three blade Raptor, but I just bought, uh, just bought a two blade uh, big blade from a guy in Michigan that was worked so we'll see also about this motor about this whole boat setup I love is that the trim I have a trim switch right here and the trailer and bracket probably the easiest trailer and bracket and trim known to man um, that's probably what I like about this that's probably why I didn't go with a gator toe this time instead I went with my buddy but um, got my other rooster tails, as I told y'all. And then I got my transducer for my um, hummingbird. I'll show y'all that in a second. Another uh, boat buckle. Oh, and these, I forgot to show y'all these. These pods are for reverse lights or lighting up behind me. Um, just lighting up the area behind me if I need to see. Um, I'm gonna get in the boat for everything else. Ugh. So, it's a very spacious boat to have all this shit in it, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna sit in the chair. I'm gonna turn around for you guys. This is the back of my boat. So, I have the polling platform on here. It's a pretty nice freaking polling platform. It has the turf up here as well, and a seat base, and rod holders, which I really only use for, um, <laughs> only really use for flags right now. Um, down here, I have the extreme navigation light comes on just about every damn boat you see and I'm gonna sit right here now and we're going to take a look into this this is just my storage box with a shelf has all my goodies and whatnot in it this is probably the only two that does not light up I mean uh, does not lock so I wouldn't put anything too special in these two pods um so this is my handle and you know this is the football little puck momentary switch forward neutral reverse trim switch and your throttle that's pretty sweet i love i like it i like the color i like the paint match you know i like everything about it this is the hatch inside of a hatch so it's for phones keys wallets you know just a little dry box and then in this other hatch it has i put all my life jackets in here um bilge pump battery and my all my live well stuff that's pretty much in my um on off switch for the whole boat so if i turn that off ain't nothing working on this guy then i have my switch panel which actually you got your voltage meter and two usbs 12 volt and your uh your fuel 
you got all your lights and everything bilge pump navigation light or interior lights and you got your underwaters which are my rooster tails your live well reverse lights lights in the back uh side lights them side pods and my front spotlight now we can start to see i kind of did this kind of in the evening time so we can see the, all the light and everything in my boat also put a cup holder right here so i can have one when i'm driving this is the helix 9 i got uh it's pretty sweet i'm i'm usually used to lorance but i got the helix 9 we're going to try this out for now uh see how it goes comes with you know a sweet cover and everything so i don't trailer with that on so <laughs> i wouldn't recommend it because it'd probably fly off um so like i said every hatch has lighting in it um you know i'm just gonna they're all pretty sweet also have the wet sounds sound system right here this is my module for it it's like a little bluetooth receiver and i got two six and a halfs up there it actually hits pretty good but i think i'm gonna upgrade the speakers to something bigger probably put an amp in there you know all that junk that's a little cover these are floor drains so if water gets inside this uh it just drains out the back um prodigy did come with two spud poles uh, this is the shelf side i got a shelf side and then i have my my rod box side but prodigy did send me two spud poles but they were made out of aluminum and they they bent the first day i had them so i went and got these super sticks fiberglass poles and a super stick spud pole so that's kind of like my two spud poles and oh that's a super stick push pole and this one's just the spud pole if you can see it up under there um so you know that's i got i went and bought them that was a little pretty price pretty pricey but you know it's whatever there's my two wet sounds right here also up under here right there is my charger for my batteries so i have my onboard charger it all hooks up to this uh, it plugs back in it goes back in pretty smooth but um i have my lights on up front and it, the back of the prodigy logo is also lit up it's pretty sweet um you know every box has their lights and i told you this one keeps falling out i'm gonna have to super glue back up but hey it's a freaking nice boat very expensive and uh a little bit more than my last one but i'm glad i got rid of it and got this one because this is basically what i wanted from the get-go um quality wise didn't really get it on the gator tail um you know the flooring was popping every time you step on it and especially up here when i was uh had my foot control for my trolling motor it popped so i mean i was just scaring all the fish away so also it wasn't hydro turfed i went the whole nine yards with this boat uh the video is still up on my on my old boat so you can do a compare and contrast to this boat and that boat but speeds i'm getting this is a lot heavier boat made out of thicker aluminum let me get out of this thing um got my nabs on but this is made out of thicker aluminum so you know it's a lot heavier so the five the 50 horse actually pushes pushes my boat around 30 miles an hour is about what i hit just by just with me on there um i'm about getting 28 with two or three people i'm waiting to get that two blade so i can see how much i gain because i have zero hole shot in this thing at all it's ridiculous um I'm waiting for that two blade. I just bought it the other day, so he, he said he should be shipping it pretty soon, probably tomorrow. Um, I got them to make me this. They make these as an option, and it's a custom. It's like for keeping scratches and trees off. Um, I got the big boy wheels, not the big boy wheels, but the pretty nice black and milled uh, aluminum trailer wheels. You know, the basic wheels. You know, they're pretty, pretty clean. I don't like I don't mind them it's better than my old one my boats are real dirty right now if you can't tell but uh so this prodigy logo is green on here which only these two rivets on each side I can pop them out 
and put a blue plexiglass behind it. And that would be pretty sweet to have blue to match like the colors and the inside of the boat and everything. Also, I put on the um, the light, the rooster tail lights for you and the blinding uh, reverse lights, which I'm gonna go ahead and turn them bad boys off. One of these. I think it was them, oh well. Um, but yeah, that's basically this boat, I love it. It uh, doesn't skip when you turn. When you're, when you're hauling ass and you go to turn, it's a pretty sexy ass into the boat too. Rounded chimes, which I mean, I don't know which one's better, so. <laughs> you know, I'm a key, I don't mind, you know, trying out new stuff. Also like that all the Mud Buddy has these hoses and fittings everywhere. Um, also right here. You know, it just keeps a cleaner look. But I don't plan on doing too much to this boat. Probably gonna put the trim switch in that bar right there, the edge of the bar, the end of the bar, right where that, if I can get it to focus, right there on the end of the uh, stick. So, you know, I could trim with my right hand when I'm holding it. Another view of them uh, speakers. They, they hit pretty hard. I can hear them while I'm riding, but not too loud, but I would like a little bit more. So. I'm gonna do some videos in this thing. We're about to go duck hunting uh, next weekend's open of teal, so we'll be uh, heading out there shortly. Probably next weekend we'll be heading out there, going to Venice. First day, um, yeah. So we will probably gonna make a video about it, put it on the old YouTube and see how she goes. I'm gonna get some. Uh, higher quality pictures of this thing with my camera that I'm using right now. Um, I'm going to go put her in the water somewhere. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, concerns, drop them in the comments. I know my last gator tail video got pretty good, but I know this ain't a gator tail, so hopefully it'll get a little bit better views. Um, yeah, just if you got any questions, concerns, drop them in the comments, and I'll, uh, I'll get back with you.